What is going on, everybody? It is me, it is your old pal, the original gamer, Stevie Stroh, and we are back for another exciting video game showcase for the Radio Shack TRS-80 Color Computer, also known as a Coco. Today, we are looking at Nibbler from 1982, and if you haven't guessed it by the name, this is a clone of Pac-Man. And uh, I've shown you another one by Spectral Associates, which looks similar. This one actually is going out of its way to show us three different colored ghosts. Um, the ghost did not turn blue, I guess, because they're using blue as one of their colors. Um, similar to the other game, although this one is holding a little bit more faithfully true to where the tunnels were on the side. There are only tunnels on the left and right side of the maze. And I'm just getting killed like crazy, yo. Um, top 10. Oh, man. Who do I write home to to let them know? Push the fire button to continue. Nibbler from 1982. Let's give it another whirl here. So I would have to say that the first game that I showed you guys was a little bit better. But this one is still okay. It is a halfway decent pack clone. But I find it a little hard to play, honestly. Um, the other game, I could actually clear a level or so. Now, the fruit looks halfway decent, so they did a decent job on um, making the fruit in the center of the maze look interesting. That does look like possibly an apple with a bite and taken out of it. Um, minimal sounds, little chirping sounds here as I'm eating the dots. And Pac-Man is yellow, which is the color he was in the arcade, so I can see why they chose this palette. This palette allows for a yellow pack dude. This palette allows for blue ghosts. In this case here, they're using multicolor ghosts. What they've actually done is they're making Pac-Man turn colors. So instead of the ghost turning colors, your pack dude turns colors, which is different. I, I have never seen that before. I've never seen that um, option chosen in the past, and it's creative, it's clever. I like that. So now that my power has worn off, I'm back to being a yellow packer. Graphics are halfway decent. I mean, they look like the ghosts of the arcade. I do find myself getting stuck around corners here as I try to turn just the way it's reading the stick or something. I don't know. Um, not bad. Not great. Not blown away. But this was one of many... Um, Pac-Man clones for the Coco. This is not one of the best. I will continue to show you more. So there you have it, folks. This was Nibbler for the Radio Shack TRS-80 color computer, also known as the Coco. I have been the original gamer, Stevie Stroh. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video game. If you did, then mash that like button and give it a big fat thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. That way I know how many other people out there are crazy like me and like watching these old crazy games. And I would also appreciate it if you could share my channel with your friends. Help me grow the audience. If you've got a comment, if there's something you'd like to say, throw out a comment. Tell me what you thought about this video. Tell me what you would like to see next. I want to thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Peace out and bye-bye, everybody.